Hello everybody. Um, so I'm now going to try an instructional video for you to watch to help prepare you how to do a lab that uses the photogates like I described in class yesterday. Um, so this is the photogate timer and the, the filming, um, it, as you can see, it, it switches everything around because of reflection and whatnot. I think if I use a mirror though, you can see it. You can see the buttons are mode, start, stop, reset, and memory. Um, and the only ones that we really need to worry about are, are uh, reset, if, if you take a lot of data points, and, and mode. It, typically, we're going to want the two-gate mode. Um, there's three places to plug things in. Um, the only one that goes in the wall with this cord, they get tangled, but a little bit, a little bit of patience works. Um, so this cord goes in here, which you plug into the wall, and right now it says photogate timer, select mode, and we press the mode button twice, mode, mode, mode. Now it says two gate mode, that's the one we want. Um, we have two holes here for the two gates, the one that's closest to the power supply is the one that gets timed first. Two-gate two mode keeps track of the time from, uh, uh, from the first gate to the next gate. There, there's, no, uh, there's no uncertainty that gets added because it's when, it's when the gate is completely blocked to when it's completely blocked again. That's why I like two-gate mode. So that's uh, gate A. And whichever one you plug it into, it's also gate, it turns itself into gate A. And gate B is uh, here and here. Um, then we have the, uh, the ramp itself, which looks a little bit like this. I think you can see the numbers. It starts at, at zero here. Um, notice that there's two ends of the ramp. This is the one that you want on the bottom because it catches the marble. There's the thread here, um, and if you thread it from this end, from the top, and this piece will be on the bottom, and we use that for things like projectile launches, which we'll do later, but not, not for this first lab. Um, all right, so um, what I've asked you to do in the lab is to find the time it takes for the marble to roll from one point to another. So this is now the um, 20 centimeter mark. This is just for the purpose of demonstration. It's the 20 centimeter mark. You want to angle it so it's in the same direction with the, with the centimeter marks. And then here's the 30 centimeter mark. Right about there. There's a, this line right here where the thing was put together. That, that actually works well to line that up with the centimeter mark. So now we've got 10 centimeters. Um, and remember, there's a light on the bottom, which you can see. Don't see that? That means it's working. And you can test it with the marble. Because you want to make sure, can you see it here? Yeah, there it is. So you want to make sure that um, both lights come on as the marble rolls down. It tells you that it's working. And they sure do. So um, you, you just leave the timer down and then you roll it. Now you have to roll it from the exact same point every time. So I'm going to start at zero. Now you can see zero. You start at zero every time. And it's rolling down. Let me try that again. It still had a little blocking, so you start at zero. And now it says 0.2122. Two one two two. I'll use the mirror so you can tell. Oh, this is tricky. All right, point two one two two. You can see that it's point two one two two. Um, you don't need to reset anything. You just let it roll again but from the zero centimeter mark. And this time it's point two zero eight six. So to to at least the the hundredth, it's it's pretty consistent. This is the kind of reading you're going to do. Not exactly the centimeter marks. You can read the lab to see which centimeter marks that you do. But the nice thing about doing it is once you get this time, you get the average speed between the 20 and the 30 centimeter mark. 
Then, to get the average speed between the 30 and the 40 centimeter mark, you just move this one, kind of leapfrog it. So you move this one to the 40 centimeter mark, which is here, thereabouts. Um, and you just change these two pegs here. So you change the A to B. So now what was B becomes A. And you're going to get a new time uh, when you roll it, which will give you the, the average time between, um, between 30 and 40. Now, uh, you're going to be doing this to try to match up the times rather than matching up the distances. But the principle should be the same. Uh, and I hope this helps.